Hey there, Shadi Bazzi here and welcome to another episode of the Top Listing Agent Show. This week we are going to talk about how to make stuff happen. Inspired by the book I just read titled How to Make Shit Happen by Sean Whalen. Uh, first thing I did when I picked up this book was try to find out how many pages are in it and there were none. The pages are not numbered. I was like, uh, okay, it is what it is. However, this is another one of these books that is small with large print that is filled with pure, authentic, no bullshit advice. The author is someone I have been following online for quite a while. He's one of the most authentic, real, honest, real down-to-earth kind of people. What I love about him uh, the most is that he don't sugarcoat anything. Everything he shares is the real stuff, good, bad, ugly, or painful. He shares it all. He lays it all out on the table. And of course, the title of the book is a very catchy one. So I was super excited to read it. Actually, this is the second time I read this book. Now, here is the thing. If you are looking for a magic formula in this book that will change your life, it is in here. However, it don't look like anything that you are not familiar with. The author ends the book by saying, that people always ask them the same exact questions over and over and over again. And the question sounds something like this. How do I get rich? Or how do I lose weight? Of course. Or how do I have better relationships? Etc. And his answer is always the same. Do the fucking work. I think this is the first time I dropped the F-bomb on this podcast. And I feel like there is no need for me to apologize for using such language because this is the freaking truth. There is no magic pill. There is no magic formula. If you want to lose weight, you know how. If you want to get listings, you know how. If you want buyers, you know how. You just need to do the work that reaps in the results you say you want. Life takes work. Business takes work. Marriage takes work. Being in shape takes work and most days it takes a freaking ton of work it will take a lot of work on your part daily commitment to daily action rituals and work every single day you need to focus you need to focus each day just on that day that's one thing the author totally hits home is focus today just on today what you do today, what you eat today, how you train today, the investment you make in yourself today, this will all shape the person you are tomorrow. This will all shape the person you are next week, next year, and for the rest of your life. The message in the book revolves around one simple concept that Sean calls the core four. The core four is simply this, power, passion, Purpose and production. So when we talk about power, we're talking about your body, your physicality. When we talk about passion, we're talking about your relationships. When we talk about purpose, we're talking about your mind. And when we talk about production, we're talking about your business. So in other words, body, relationships, your mind, and your business. This is your one big to-do list each day. What will you do each day? To take care of your body. What will you do to better your relationships? What will you do to grow your mind? And what will you do each day to build your business? These four things are a must to work on every day no matter what. This core four is non-negotiable. If we can tally up what we just talked about. The whole entire book is very simple. Look. Get up early every day. Start off your day with powerful thoughts. Maybe listen to a positive audio. Maybe watch a motivational video on YouTube. You know, just do something to inject your mind with positivity. You know, get some exercise time in. You know, get the body moving. Get the blood pumping. You know, get to the office early and do something to generate new business. And of course, do something to take care of your loved ones and keep the love burning inside of your relationship. Some quotes from the book are as follows. Here's the inspirational part. If you want to make more money, get in better shape. If you want to make more money, improve your relationships. There is nothing that will distract you, annoy you, frustrate frustrate you, demoralize you, 
or cause you to go broke more quickly than shitty relationships. This is why you must invest in your relationships every single day. Every single day starts in the mind. So feed the mind. By the way, you are doing that right now by consuming this podcast. And I thank you so much for letting me be the one who's injecting your mind with good positive information to help you take your life and your business to the next level. Now, let me give you a step-by-step process from the book on how to make shit happen. From the author. Here we go. Number one, he says, add value. Like That's on top of the list. Add value. He says, add you. Give the world you. Give social media your passion. Tell them who you are. You are the value. Take your knowledge and give it to the people. Number two, get clear. And he says, this will be the most difficult thing you do. Get clear on the question, what exactly do I want? Author even says, hey, most people flat out. Number one answer is, I want more money. He said, how much more money? Be specific. Number three, Google. Google is everything you need. Basically, by him saying Google, he's saying is, stop making excuses everything you want is available on google google has everything you need hey want to lose weight google that and google will show you how want to start a new business google that and google will show you how and then step number four he says copy to be specific he says copy and steal and no, i don't mean like plagiarize if a guy is taking a few listings a week guess what do the things he's doing Learn about his marketing. Learn about his sales strategies. What are his or her daily habits? Literally copy and steal what is already being done. And step number five is network. Is network. Add value to your network. In a previous episode, I talked about, you know, in 2020 or in the next 12 months, depending on when you are listening to to, to this podcast, is this. Who are the people that you want to uh, be a part of their circle or bring into your circle? People that can add value to you and you can add value to them. That, in essence, is networking. It's time to grow your network. And if you're following this system, you know, something we also talked about before is, you know, self-worth equals your net worth, not your network equals your net worth, but they're all tied in together. The more valuable you become, the more likely you are to be invited into those circles. So network your way to the top in 2020 and beyond. Now, the warning I have for you now is this. Most people are flat out lazy. They take the path of least resistance every single day. They will take a few nuggets that were shared here today from the core four and will only do these things that appear to be the easiest for them. I'm telling you, you got to do all four. Remember what I said to to you earlier, copy and steal. Steal this system. Put it into play for yourself and make shit happen. With that said, let me help you with that right now. Want to know how a top listing agent generates listings every single day? Want to know how a top listing agent converts their leads into signed contracts? If the answer is yes, then copy and steal what I share with you inside of my book that you can download for free at tlablackbook.com. Everything you need to become a top listing agent is inside of that book. Don't like to read or want to make shit happen faster? Good. Then hit me up and let's have a one-on-one conversation about how I can help you. Set up a time to speak to me at tlastrategycall.com. Thank you again for letting my voice into your head and hope that you are taking action on what I am sharing with you. I do this for you and of course I get something out of it as well. But at the end of the day, I really truly do it for you. The more value I give to the world, the more valuable I become to the world. Copy and steal that one in your marketplace Okay now, got to run. I appreciate you for being a loyal listener to the podcast and I will catch you on the next episode. On the next episode.